Hello and welcome back. In the short lecture, we will be understanding about total cost of ownership. In the previous lecture, we tried to learn about actual cost of or the pricing calculator for different resources within Microsoft Azure. But now, what we try to do is we will uh, go back to the TCO concept where we can save or we can estimate the cost of saving when we move our resources to Microsoft Azure Cloud uh, instead of we manage our own. So let's say uh, this is a calculator page which is a free of cost again if you just go to this link and you can you know input the required resources let's say you have your on-premises data center and you might be you know having uh, the number of servers like say windows servers you have maybe 20 windows servers you have and you can you know add one more maybe you have another linux servers uh, maybe close to another maybe 10 different uh, servers altogether or 20 servers and per core uh, you may have you know four servers example so you, you know just have to you know input uh, the realistic data from your on-premises and then you know you have to put the values that would actually give you the uh, value of the total cost of uh, ownership when it compared with the market. let's say you have a total uh, for these maybe a GPU of RAM here also 128 GB of RAM and GPUs I have maybe M series I have maybe K series here and now I may have here some of the database servers so let's say I have uh, two cores or maybe you know RAM as uh, 32 GB of the RAM and uh, optimized and I do have the SQL servers uh, licensing what the server I can add up here maybe I have maybe a five or different uh, number of servers uh, and Processes maybe per server I uh, can take up here maybe a 10 core or 12 core example uh, Here the 4 core or that's maximum what it can take and uh, Storage like you know what type of storage you have NAS or local disk or SAN So let's say I have a SAN of my hard disk with the total capacity of 10 TB and backup of 5 TB and archive of 5 TB example and the uh, networking uh, per month maybe I'm actually outbound is expecting 100 in GB plus uh, and now you know this is the three step right you define your workloads by giving what you have in your on premises and uh, when you, you know, click on next it actually adjusts the consumptions uh, let's say you are already having Microsoft um, agreement that's a software essay agreement that's a software residence agreement so you can you know go for the hybrid benefit of saving close to 40 percent of uh, windows or sql server licensing uh, that means the same licenses can be used within microsoft azure also so you would be you no know, charge uh, lesser than 40 percent of the actual cost of your vms and i'm actually taking that option uh, because we anyway have that licenses on your on-premises also so uh, there's nothing wrong you go and use it in Microsoft as your cloud and you're redundant if you want to you know, use uh, this kind of you know, functionality you can you know use it uh, if you think about the real uh, realistic then definitely you or data center might you know replicating an AGO or uh, redundant then in that case you can you know take it otherwise you know you can uh, take this as the benefit uh, to compare the cost uh, and the virtual machines cost all that and the cost of your uh, kilowatt per hour of electricity cost you can put it and also the cost for the storage these are the standard things actually hardware cost or software or labor cost all that and I'm just you know, taking all all as the default and uh, show you know what actually I can save it here. If you see here, I can close to say four million two hundred and seventy one thousand and seven hundred and fifty nine uh, close to dollars. I can save as much as over the five years of the uh, uses if I try to use the same workloads within Microsoft Azure because this is actually uh, giving you more in detail report and you can you know talk with your management to you know show that you know what kind of you know cost it is actually coming up so this is called this is called the uh, TCVO uh, when you look at this uh, 
website which is a calculator which will give you, you know more help um, it, it actually helps you to more understanding about how you can save that and you can also contact uh, Microsoft uh, to get it more information you can save this and you can share you can download in terms of in terms of the complete report wise so that would definitely help you out to better understanding about this report if you actually you know save it and you can um, share this report with your management I hope um, you know you would be you no know, understanding about uh, the cost where it is actually involved if you see here the most of the cost is coming 90% from the computing and the data center cost and networking storage IT labor and um, it is actually showing you where exactly the cost is coming and how much it is actually costing a total cost split also it was shown here including the electricity and if you want to adjust you can always adjust these values according to your realistic uh, values and then you would be you know, getting more realistic uh, savings when compared with the Azure and your on-premises if you try to manage this. I hope this is useful for you. Thank you for watching this. I'll catch you in the next lecture.